America's 10 Toughest Animals, an entirely subjective and yet completely definitive ranking of wild beasts native to the United States. Now that warm weather is finally upon us here in the good old United State of America, it's time to go hiking. Which means it's also time to take measure of those things in the wild that might eat us for lunch. From the dangerously cute grizzly to the stoic bald eagle, the following list offers a somewhat scientific look into just what makes each of these noble creatures so badass. Welcome to Eve Tops 10. Here we are presenting the top 10 America's toughest animals. Number 10, Norway Rat. The Norway Rat, Echo the Brown Rat, Street Rat, Wharf Rat, and most apropos sewer rat obviously stands no chance against anything on the rest of this list. But if there were some kind of apocalyptic event, a natural disaster, say this is the one species that would likely survive. The rat's toughness is all about that ability to endure and thrive in hostile environments. And it's not like rats are without weapons. They're incredibly potent disease vectors. Rats can swim, climb, dig, and eat through wood, concrete, and some metal. They breed prolifically up to five times a year and can adjust that rate depending on conditions, which makes them very hard to exterminate. They're smart and opportunistic, adapting diet to whatever's available. Mostly, that means trash we humans leave around. But in some cases, rats will hunt. On one island in the North Sea, a population of rats has been known to hunt birds. Found in, basically everywhere, except Antarctica. Bonus fact, Canada's Alberta province is the largest rat-free human area in the world. Rats can't reach Alberta by migration, and the province enacted a massive eradication effort in the 1950s that wiped out the population that had come in with humans. Number 9, Wild Boar. The scariest thing about wild boars. Their numbers are growing, and fast. America's boars were once mostly contained in Florida and Texas, but they're colonizing fast, and you can now find these stocky, wire-haired wild pigs in 39 United States. The current population is thought to be more than 5 million and is so out of control that the federal government has enacted a plan to cull large numbers. Why? Because boars are destructive as hell. They dig up farms, destroy fences, and pollute streams with their excrement, causing an estimated $1.5 billion a year in damage. I've never seen any one species that can affect so many livelihoods and resources. Michael Bodenchuk, the state director of Texas Wildlife Services, told Scientific American. Wild pigs travel in groups of up to 15, weigh several hundred points, are among the smartest animals on earth, can be extremely aggressive, and have razor-sharp tusks. It is not uncommon for hunters to be gored, and their dogs to be killed, during hunts. Found in, most of the lower 48 states at this point, but the largest populations are concentrated in the south, especially Texas. Bonus fact, wild boar are not native to America. You can blame our European settler ancestors for unleashing them upon us. Before we continue, give this video one like, smash on the subscribe button, plus hit on the notification bell icon. Number 8. Bald Eagle No list of tough animals would be complete without a raptor, and our national symbol is the biggest and baddest raptor of them all. First things first, bald eagles can fly, which gives them an advantage over every other creature on this list. It's hard to kill what you can't catch. They're also going to see you coming. Eagles have excellent vision seven times better than ours, and can spot prey over an area of three miles from 1,000 feet up. When in kill mode, they're practically fighter jets, with a seven-foot wingspan and a top speed of 75 miles during dives. Eagles are surprisingly strong, with the ability to carry up to four times their own body weight while flying, which is why plenty of people have watched in horror as a large bird swoops in and snatches up the family dog. Eagles don't typically hunt pets. However, they're scavengers, primarily, and prefer fish or small rodents, which are killed either by the bird's two-inch long talons, or that sharp, curved beak, which can tear flesh and fur. Found in pretty much everywhere there's water to fish in, but mostly Alaska, about half of the world's population of 70,000 lives there. Bonus fact, eagles don't sweat, which makes them hard to intimidate. Number 7. Black Bear Black bears will lull you to sleep with their gentle, lumbering nature, and all-around adorableness, and they are not by nature aggressive at all, but when asked to scrap, a black bear is no easy foe. These are strong animals even cubs have been witnessed overturning rocks that weigh over 300 pounds and also fast, capable of running 25 to 30 miles per hour. Black bears aren't huge. The average bear rarely reaches 300 pounds, but massive specimens are out there roaming the forests. For instance, the record bears killed in New Jersey and Pennsylvania each taken in the past five years were both over 800 pounds. These are wily omnivores. Two. Black bears are excellent climbers and have extraordinary manual dexterity, which explains how they get into so many kitchens and refrigerators. They can easily work with latches and handles and have been known to unscrew jars, 
which seems like a waste of energy for an animal that could just as easily smash them and doesn't much care about mess. How often they hunt and kill prey has a lot to do with geography. East Coast bears seem mostly happy to eat grubs, bugs, and nuts. While West Coast bears sometimes hunt young deer and definitely compete with lions and wolves for carcasses. Beware! Ungulates of Labrador, your black bears have a taste for caribou, found in pretty much everywhere, especially in forests and mountain areas. Bonus fact, good luck hiding from a black bear. Their sense of smell is seven times greater than that of a dog. Number six, bison. On paper, the bison should be higher up this list, but most of the animals ranked above at least occasionally kill buffalo, so that has to affect the standing of America's largest moot animal. Still, these are hulking ungulates, the largest land animals on the continent, standing up to six feet high at the shoulder and weighing upwards of 1.5 tons. And they're not just big, a bison can run up to 40 miles an hour over short distances and jump fences, so an angry, pissed off buffalo with two sharp horns on its head is a force of nature that almost nothing short of a high velocity rifle round can stop. On average, bison injure more humans than any other animal on this list, but that's mostly because humans don't fear them as they do other wild animals and as rangers at Yellowstone will often attest do incredibly stupid things like walk up and stand next to them for photos. Mess with the bison, you get the horns. Found in South Dakota, Utah, Montana, Wyoming. Bonus fact, between 1980 and 1999 more than three times as many humans were injured by bison and bears in Yellowstone. Number 5. Gray Wolf there is no greater testament to the toughness of the gray wolf than the fact that even Liam Neeson could not survive in its territory. What we learned from the gray, of course, was that the strength of a wolf is in his allegiance to the pack. A single wolf isn't so terrifying, but it's pretty rare that you'll run into a single wolf. What makes Candy's lupus so intimidating to its many prey animals basically. Anything with hooves is that wolves work so well in concert, using a complex system of sounds and behaviors to stalk, chase, and trick animals into becoming meals. Wolves are endurance athletes that can cover dozens of miles in a day with extreme cold tolerance that can comfortably sleep, exposed, in temperatures as low as minus 40 degree, while they prefer to hunt smaller, weaker prey. Wolves can and often do take on elk, moose, and even bison. Wolves will try to isolate a single animal, corner it, or chase it until it's tired, then strike. If this is big prey, it's basically death by a thousand cuts. The wolves attack from the rear biting at an animal's soft underbelly until it bleeds out and collapses. In the case of smaller prey, like deer, wolves will go straight for the throat, biting at the neck in hopes of severing the jugular. A gray wolf's bite strength is 1,500 pounds per square inch, or about twice the force of a German shepherd's jaws. Found in Alaska, the Rockies, Great Lakes region. Bonus fact, each wolf has a distinct howl, and these howls can be recognized by other wolves from up to 10 miles away. Number 4. Crocodile who knew that one of the world's largest crocodiles was actually our very own. The one that hangs out in South Florida, like most retired New Yorkers. Male American crocodiles can weigh up to 2,000 pounds, and have been known to snatch and wooden cattle on occasion. But they're not nearly as aggressive as their African cousins which are very often man-eaters, and the normal diet of a Florida croc is fish, aquatic birds, and small mammals. American crocs are fast on land 10 miles per hour in water up to 20 miles per hour but can only maintain those speeds over short distances. They also have relatively narrow snouts, optimized for catching and eating fish. Once a croc catches some prey, though, things get ugly fast. Crocs have the world's most powerful jaws, with a bite force that is up to 10 times greater than a Rottweiler's. They are also masters of digestion with the most acidic stomachs of any vertebrate on earth, that means they can easily digest bones and hoofs. Their weakness? Cold weather. In 2009, an abnormally cold stretch in Florida killed at least 150, found in Florida. Bonus fact, they have no natural enemies, except for makers of cowboy boots. Number 3, Mountain Lion. Mountain lions are solitary animals that often cover a large range. They're remarkable hunters and the stock prey so quietly that often an animal doesn't know it's a target until the 150-pound cat is on its back. Lions typically kill by striking from the rear, jumping onto an animal's back, and breaking its neck by biting into the base of the skull. What's more, if you're in sight of one, you're basically in range. The cats are prodigious jumpers, able to leap as high as 15 feet and as far as 40 feet, and they run fast too capable of reaching 50 miles per hour at a sprint. Found in most states in the American West and even east of the Mississippi in some small populations, the endangered Florida panther is basically the same animal. Only black, 
and living in the few parts of Florida that aren't strip malls or golf courses. Bonus fact, the cougar has the largest range of any land animal in the Americas, with a territory that covers 110 degrees of latitude and stretches from Alaska to Argentina. Number 2. Wolverine We know what you've heard, that the wolverine is, pound for pound, the toughest animal in America, if not the world. And, to be fair, these little guys actually the largest land-dwelling weasels are ferocious. Despite weighing just 20 to 50 pounds, wolverines have been known to go after deer and even caribou if they are hungry enough. Mostly, they don't have to, but their voracious appetite they like to eat meat every day. Unlike wolves and coyotes, which can go days without dining meat they can devour a smorgasbord of smaller critters rabbits, squirrels, bulls, beavers, in a short period, using sharp, dagger-like claws and a powerful bite with a mouth that includes special molars for crushing bone. In 2002, researchers in Yellowstone documented the first ever proof of a wolverine dragging away a full-sized elk. But when they found that wolverine, he was sad trombone dead, killed by a bear who also wanted that carcass. This incident, their wolverine decided to battle it out head-on with another carnivore ten times the size, substantiates the species' ferocious and intrepid reputation, said a researcher involved in the project. But the bear won, so we obviously can't rank the wolverine any higher than number two, found in cold places northern boreal forests and tundra. For the United States, that means primarily Alaska, but there are small numbers in the Rockies and Cascades. Bonus fact, you might be wondering, how does a wolverine kill a caribou, anyway? Simple, by leaping on its back and biting the neck until the animal chokes out, falls over, at which time the wolverine will start disemboweling the prey. Happy hiking! Before we move on, just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you! Number 1. Grizzly Bear it's hard to mount much of an argument against the grizzly bear as America's toughest animal. There's really nothing else on this list that stands much of a chance in a head-to-head -head fight. Barring some freak accident, like the grizzly slipping on a banana peel and falling onto its back, exposing its one vulnerability the soft neck to the bone-crushing teeth of a wolverine or gray wolf. But I think we can all agree that's kind of a ridiculous scenario. The grizzly's weapons are formidable. They are huge up to 1,200 pounds, but typically more like 500 to 800 strong capable of lifting nearly their body weight or more and powerful with a bite that could crush a bowling ball since 1895 there have been 15 reported cases of grizzly bears decapitating moose with a single paw swipe when montana state professor doug cairns set out to test grizzly strength using a pair of captive bears he observed them tossing around a 700 pound dumpster it was like a beach ball to them he said it took a minimum of two people and a concerted effort to tip that same dumpster. The sum of the professor's work was that a typical grizzly bear is 2.5 to 5 times stronger than a human. I'm certain if a bear were enraged it would be much, much higher, Karen said. We never did get them ticked off. We didn't want to. All that said, grizzlies are omnivores and spend much of their time eating bugs and bark and berries. They don't go out of their way to hunt large mammals, but they also won't back down from a fight or pass up a chase after easy food, so maybe don't carry raw meat in your backpack. Found in Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Washington. Bonus fact, fear not, it's unlikely that a grizzly could decapitate you with a single paw swipe. Moose just happen to have a particular anatomical design that makes it relatively easy for their heads to become detached. Thanks for watching, let us know which animal you find interesting, and tell us the ones we miss. Maybe we will make a video about it. If you click the subscribe button and the bell icons, you will be notified when fantastic video just like this one comes out. We have a lot more that you will enjoy.